Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Boomi World 2018. Brought to you by Dell Boomi. Welcome back to theCUBE. We are live at Boomi World 2018 at the Encore Las Vegas. I'm Lisa Martin with my co-host Don Furrier and we're excited to welcome the CMO, the new CMO of Dell Boomi, Mandy Dollawal. Mandy, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Lisa. It's great to be here. And thanks for having us here. Oh my gosh. Second annual Boomi World. Yes. Doubled in size from last year. Moved it from San Francisco to Las Vegas. This morning's keynote was action-packed, standing room only, and some of the stats that really struck out at me, five new customers are being added to Dell Boomi every day. Over 7,500 customers to date. Your Dell Boomi community is over 64,000 strong. There's a lot of momentum. Talk to us about, you're new, been seven weeks. Yes. What are some of the things that excited you about coming to lead marketing for Dell Boomi? Oh my gosh, they're hard to pinpoint one thing. So many wonderful things about this company. Market leading technology, Gartner Magic Quadrant leader, five years in a row, right? Um, just fantastic reputation in the, in the technology landscape. Um, everybody has very positive things to say about Boomi. The company culture, right? Companies like this don't come around every day. Uh, it's fantastic. Everybody is very collaborative. We're, we have a winning culture. We put customers first. We don't just talk the talk. We walk the walk, and it's fantastic to be a part of it. Um, you know, outstanding sales team, outstanding leadership team. I could go on. Michael Dell said 80% sales are the booming. Yes. Um, at Boomi, but for as a marketer, CMO, you have a challenge. You have a successful company that was acquired by Dell eight years ago, incubated yes. as part of the puzzle pieces of the Michael Dell strategy. Right. You have all of Dell Technologies' portfolio, but. Boomi seems to be one of the key ingredients. You've got VMware, everyone knows what's going on there. Right. Pivotal, and now Dell Boomi, born in the cloud. Yes. So you have product market fit. Absolutely, Check. yes. Now you got to get the word out, you got to drive value, be part of that flagship trio that's Dell Technologies. Right. That's right. a big task. How are you going to attack that? What's your plan? What's the vision? First and foremost, it's awareness, right? We've got to get the word out. We've got so many wonderful customer stories that we just need to share with the world. You know, our own company amongst Dell Technologies, day one, Dell EMC merger. Salesforce was integrated, day one. And guess who did that? What technology was behind the scenes? We drink our own champagne. It's impressive right. considering, I can't even imagine the sheer number of Salesforce instances Absolutely. that came together Absolutely. in a single day. Customer service, we're our own best proof point. Dell Technologies is our largest enterprise case study. Customer service across RSA, yeah. SecureWorks, and uh, Dell Boomi, one point of contact, one phone call, we get notes, and if there's an issue with any one of our customers, we're able to pass through that customer request directly to the company that needs to be dealing with the customer. We don't make the customer hang up and call another number. So cloud scale certainly gives you an advantage, we heard that, Absolutely. product Absolutely. is strong. Absolutely. Data now is becoming much more instrumental right. across horizontal data sets, so it's yes. not just the silo data and do some integration. Right. You got cloud native, you got VMware in the enterprise, you got Pivotal, yes. Kubernetes, Cloud Foundry, cloud yes. native stuff. Right. How are you guys going to take that data explosion and make it trustable? Is that part of the plan? Is that going to be uh, a key part of that? Trustable in terms of privacy and, and data governance. Just leveraging the data, being data driven. You mentioned right. integrating Salesforce. Okay, that's a, that's right. a tough job that has right. to be done, check. Absolutely. But now, Absolutely. how do you get value out of the app and the workloads that run with that data? Right, well, it, it's, a, it's a complex ecosystem that we're a part of, right? And that's Boomi's job. We radically simplify that whole ecosystem. So the value is starting to show. We just, um, we're about to unleash next week a Forrester TEI study. So we took a conglomerate with five of our enterprise, top enterprise customers, and built this $300 billion business as a scenario and started to look at the value that Boomi was able to derive in terms of cost reduction, in terms of savings on infrastructure costs, in terms of innovation potential, as far as speeding up their routes to market, and the ROI, which came back conservative from an innovation potential for because you really can't quantify what you don't know, 300% was the number in terms of the ROI that we're able to deliver as a, as a Boomi empowered business. Which is huge. There were, besides that, a number of other really eye-popping 
quantitative stats, business outcomes that that Forrester Total Economic Impact right. Study uncovered. Right. And one of them being incremental revenue is the biggest benefit Absolutely. that Dell Boomi customers get. 3.4 million. Yes of incremental revenue. Yes. Also, other stats that I saw here that I thought were really um, transformative are cutting development times by 70%, freeing up IT resources, being able to reallocate them, helping ultimately accelerate the pace of innovation, right. which we know is critical right. to transforming and continuing right. to use data, and that's to John's point, establish that trust, not just with customers and partners, but also internally. Absolutely, absolutely. Every company's a software company, right? We've been hearing that now for years. We practice it, we live it every day. We're empowering these brands to go out and do what they do best, and reimagine their businesses from their customers' perspectives. It's incredibly powerful. It's exciting. And you, sorry John, I was going to say, you've got, um, speaking of customers, over 92% of the breakout sessions here have customers and partners, and I know as a marketer how challenging it is to get, and you said about 68 customers here speaking yes. on your behalf. Absolutely. That's huge. Our community is, is tremendous, right? We, we truly partner with our customers and it shows, right? You heard Chris Port on stage recognizing customers for innovation in various categories. We take our customers and partner with them for them to be successful. We're, the, the company culture extends beyond the employees. And it, it's been the secret to our success. We're able to help them unlock the value of their businesses. It starts with the data and the applications, but at the end of the day, we're an enterprise transformation company. And, and it's really, you're going to start to see a lot more of that in the coming months, and just as far as messaging and, and the value that we deliver as a platform. I want to get your thoughts, Mandy, on a couple things. One is the technology partner program and the ecosystem, you mentioned that. But also you're starting to see the messaging change around Boomi, Dell yes, Boomi. Yes. Uh, integration, certainly we know how hard it is to, as Absolutely. a glue layer to put stuff together. Absolutely. But you're, you guys are talking about connecting businesses. So it's Absolutely. now moving up the value proposition, the more holistic Absolutely. kind of perspective. Um, uh, by design, is there a rationale for it? Can you explain why this is happening? What's the evolution? The market like? is taking us there, right? The customer need is where we're focused. You know, digital transformation. Right now, today, the stats that we have, only 26% of digital transformation succeed. We've got an awful lot of customers saying, hey, we got to get this figured out. It's on the C-suite agenda, it's on the boardroom agenda. It has to succeed, it's innovate or die. There's stats out there in terms of how many of the Fortune 500 are going to be around 10 years from now, five years from now, right? Boomi is that company that will solve those problems. Michael said it this morning. And speed's important too, they got to get there faster. Absolutely, And that's not what they're used to. We, we, we have a very simple UI, very you know, plug and play, drop in, the drag and drop platform that helps our customers go deliver. Not to mention the power of the analytics and, and the AI that we've got behind us. We've got the pattern recognition down. Talk about the partner program. Obviously, there's been so many announcements. Yesterday was a partner day. Yes. What happened yesterday? What's going on today? What's the vibe of the show? Ecosystem, partner program, what are the new things? You know, bottom line for the partners, we're here to help them extend their businesses. There's tremendous momentum in the market as far as we're pulling through demand uh, on the integration scenarios. Um, you know, we've got Deloitte and TCS, Accenture, some of our top sponsors here. Our sponsorships are sold out. Right? Our partners are here in this ecosystem. Dell Technologies right behind us. It's a tremendous show of force. It's fantastic. <laughs> and it just shows you the market potential and the need in, out there. Yeah. Customers are clamoring for these types of solutions. As a CMO, I want to get your take on some of the messaging breakdown. Mm -hmm. And one of them that came out today, left bold messaging is not only, as you mentioned a minute ago, Dell, Dell Boomi is the transformation partner, but also that, hey, we're reimagining the I and iPads. iPads is, is a competitive, um, well-established market. Right. You guys are using your own, uh, I, what, upwards of 30 terabytes of uh, anonymous metadata yeah. to make the, the Boomi Unified platform smarter, more responsive. Absolutely. As you look to help that 70, 6% of customers who are failing in their digital transformations. How is the reimagined I and iPads going to be a facilitator of that? It's putting the user at the center of the experience. Steve Wood, our chief product, product officer, is going to be on stage tomorrow doing a demo of this reimagined user experience. It's driven by the data that we've got. It's driven by the patterns that we've been able to look at as far as business processes and integrations and be able to provide a user experience where the customer's at the center, I go with a problem, not a list of technologies that I need to connect. 
Mandy wants to build EDI for a couple of trading partners, right? I don't need to tell Boomi that. I need to tell them, I need this outcome and I need data to be transferred from here to here. And at the end of the day, I, from my cell phone, want to be able to figure out what's going on as far as my supply chain. I want to know where that boat is coming for Black Friday. Or is my inventory hitting the, the port when it needs to? I should be able to see that from my phone. That, that's what we're doing. We're giving the power back to the users and enabling them to go power their businesses. As a new person to Dell, we've known each other um, at the last company you were at, uh, born in the cloud. Amazon sets the agenda for a lot of the cloud computing market. Yes. You guys are cloud native as a startup, really kind of nailed that SaaS formula with right. Boomi. Dell is not restrictive in the sense, but it's got a lot of muscle behind you. Yes. Boomi seems to be standing on its own and flying out like VMware, as well, it's still 100% owned by Dell. Right. Um, those trends are big. That's a big wave that you're on. Yes. How are you thinking about it as you look at the, your assignment as a CMO? First How of are all, you going to ride that wave? Are you going to hang yeah. 10 early? Are you going to build it out slowly? What's, what's, what's going on? Oh, we're going. We're, we're, we're going for it. We're going to go ride that wave. It's here. Um, if anything, we've got to work better with our Dell Technologies partners, right? We've got to, we're, we're getting in deeper from a go-to-market standpoint with a lot of the enterprise reps already in the ecosystem. We're looking at driving customer value. As Michael said, there's always a need for Boomi. We haven't found a single opportunity yet that Boomi isn't needed. So you're on a growth curve. We're, we're absolutely on a growth curve. It's just we can't get there fast enough. Yeah. We're hiring like crazy, we're, you know, we're just, we're doing it. What kind of jobs are you guys looking for? What's the hiring? What are your needs? Take a uh, minute to tech, share. Technical talent is always, you know, priority number one for a company like ours. Um, you know, on the go-to-market side as well, we need salespeople. Uh, you know, I've got marketing recs out already. Check our website. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of opportunity uh, from a BD standpoint, partner uh, as well. So, tremendous opportunity on, on the go-to-market side as well as on the R&D side. Looks like Boomi is going to be one of those flagships for Dell Technologies. I, sure, I, I certainly mean, have so, that's good my company. vision. VMware didn't skip a beat, Pivotal's growing like a weed, yes. Dell Boomi's exploding in a big way, you guys are doing great. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And another thing before we wrap up here that is impressive, all those companies, those Dell companies that, that John just mentioned, including Dell Boomi as a business unit, all of them have women at the executive level. Yes. There are six CMOs, including yourself, female CMOs in that position, and it's something that theCUBE has always long been a supporter of women in technology, and mm -hmm. I always admire that. So, I, it's great congratulations on your appointment. It's great seeing a strong female leader in the role, and your energy is contagious, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that they got you on that growth trajectory, because I can feel it. Yeah. it. It's happening, it's going to be amazing, and thank All you right. for being a part of this journey with us. Thanks so much, Mandy, for having yes. us. We appreciate your time and have a, a great time at the rest of the event. We'll see you next year. Thank you, thank you. For John Furrier, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from Boomi World 2018. John and I will be right back with our next guest.